I noticed something about my Sigma Art F1.4 yesterday. It's got chromatic aberration. I think most lenses do a tiny bit or to some varying degree, even really expensive lenses, but it was more than I was expecting. Let me show you. I use this gray card as the test subject because it's really easy to see the chromatic aberration on the edges where the black border meets the gray or white, especially up in the upper right hand corner in the white box around that you can see purple or green chromatic aberration depending on which way you roll the focus. Luckily, currently I'm borrowing a Sony GM 1.2 50mm lens, and this is a perfect benchmark to test my Sigma 1.4 50mm against for chromatic aberration, because this is a $2,000 lens. It's like over twice as expensive as the Sigma. So let's see what the Sony GM 50mm looks like against the Sigma 1.4. First off, we've already noticed the fringing in the upper right hand corner of the image for the Sigma Art 50 millimeter, and that's at 1.4. At uh, 2.8, it's a similar story, but in the right hand corner, you can see around the edges there is some green. Then I stopped down to 5.6, and this is where the aberration pretty much disappeared. Maybe I could have been at a 4 or a 3.5, but it's looking pretty good. And then if you watch the focus roll, I think there is some around there, but it's really, really minimal. And there's definitely some color fringing on the G Master at 1.4. Uh, 5.6, I see little to none. So I think it's taken care of at F4 or F5.6. I was surprised that the Sony had a little bit of chromatic aberration as well. So I'm still really happy with the Sigma. It's a beautiful lens. It's my primary interview lens and I'm gonna to continue to use it. The chromatic aberration really isn't that bad. And uh, yeah, I really love this lens. Oh, it did surprise me. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.